idea of it started about uh, 10 years ago um, with a conversation with a friend in Fife. I, I live in Fife, um, in the village of Upper Lago. And he said, you know, with this climate change, Christopher, we're going to have the climate of the Loire Valley in about 20 years' time. Um, so that just got me thinking, you know, and he said, to him, Buy, so plant your Sauvignon Blanc now. And, you know, you just sort of, you stash it in the back of your mind and say, oh, you know, that's an interesting thought. But I, the more I thought about it, the more I actually do believe that climate change is, is a reality. And um, uh, whether we're necessarily going to get uh, hotter or warmer or wetter, possibly, um, is the West Coast going to be submerged in water? Um, I don't know. I don't know which way. I've got no certainties. All I am certain of is climate change is a reality. And certainly over the last 10 years, I really felt that's probably quite true. So I've obviously talked to various people about the idea for quite some time, and most people think I'm start staring bonkers, um, including my wife. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, where there's, there's, where there's a will, there's a way. We thought we'd experiment with about 100 vines to start off with and just saw how that went. So I, I did some research, I got hold of a, a wonderfully named um, chap called John Buchan, uh, which <laughs> you won't forget in a hurry. Um, those of you who know anything about Scottish yeah. literature, um, or not. Um, and John is a, 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 a... When I made my notes, I was trying to think um, what his title is, what he actually does do, but he, he's, a, he's a, an expert in, in vine culture, if, if, if you like. So he advised me on varieties, um, the soil, we had it tested, um, and so on and so forth. So that's really um, how we started off. And he suggested uh, three different varieties, uh, all of which they have in common is that they are early ripening, which we felt in Scotland was probably quite important. So they're called, um, I can't even read them out, Rondo, Sigriba, and Solaris, which is varieties I've never heard of. Um, I bought them through a vineyard in Yorkshire who actually have uh, award-winning wines. They started making wine about three years ago. They've already won awards for their wines using this great variety, or these great varieties. So blend off the two, three. Um, one of them is pink-skinned, so at the very most we'll get a, a, um, a rosé. We won't get a red wine because we felt that chances of ripening a red grape is really you know, expecting too much, um, more than most people expect. Anyway, the next job obviously is a bit of heavy-duty stuff, so we got a tractor in and you had to do some subsoiling and um, dig quite deep to allow the drainage. You can't really tell from the photograph, but our house is up here. I'm standing out the house, as it were, and we've got a slope. It slopes right down, and the, the trees there, we planted the trees uh, about 15 years ago. And where, the, where the, um, the headland is, that's the sea. It's the Firth of Forth, and Edinburgh is over there. We look directly across to Gillen, so it's a lovely south-facing, sloping... Um, it's ideal for a vineyard. Thank you.